アリウベカラザルイマオミロアリウベカラザルイマオミロアリウベカラザルイマオミロアリウベカラザルイマオミロアリウベカラザルイマオミロアリウベカラザルイマオミロアリウベカラザルイマオミロアリウベカラザルイマオミロアリウベカラザルイマオミロ We're at a point in time where cross-continental entertainment is at an all-time high and provides us with a new style of storytelling that we probably would have never thought we would be introduced to or even like. With successful movies reached in the US like Korea's four-time Oscar-winning movie Parasite or Train to Busan or Germany's hit Netflix show Dark, it has to make you curious about what other forms of entertainment are out there for you to consume. And this time I'm talking about the world of anime. You might have noticed how Hulu and Netflix are slowly adding more and more anime to their already massive repository of shows and movies. And that's for a good reason. They've noticed that there's more of a demand for it here now. There's a common misconception thrown around about anime claiming that it's for children. The main fuel for this claim is because it's animated. And like most television we all probably watched growing up, that would probably indicate that it's not meant for older audiences. However, <laughs> I'll tell you now, there's more to anime than just Dragon Ball Z and Pokemon. Anime can get as mature or as dangerous as you want it to be. So the big question, should you watch anime? For the two longer than watchers out there, I'll keep it simple for you. Yes. <laughs> Now, for the people who are actually interested in the why, then let's dive into this absolutely massive medium of art and entertainment. The anime world is vast and truly has something for everybody. Do you want adventure? Do you want action? Do you want horror? Do you want mystery? Do you want slice of life? Do you want sports? Do you want supernatural? The list goes on. It's all just a matter of what you're in the mood for at that time and just finding one to start. Whether you want to find a show that you can binge watch in a day, a week, or maybe even a couple of months to a year or even longer, you can get your feel. There's just an unlocked and honestly limitless potential when it comes to anime that you just can't get with regular live action television. Things that can only be achieved with animation. The most popular example of an adaptation that just didn't hit the mark was a live action remake of Avatar The Last Airbender. Good things are hard to achieve twice when you step away from the medium that helped establish something so challenging to recreate a reality. When you are dealing with real actors and a very limited budget, there's only so much you can achieve, but cannot fully reach because of real life limitations that we cannot possibly reenact without it looking over the top or out of place. This, however, is where anime excels. Japan tapped into a gold mine when they realized that animation shouldn't be made exclusively for children. As an adult watching something, you tend to notice everything you're watching. The delivery of that one line didn't match the mood of the scene. That actor is clearly fake crying. In that fight scene, that character clearly missed that punch. We realize all these things because we know what all those things either look or feel like. But in anime, all things can be portrayed exactly how it's intended. There are no limitations. You get the best of both worlds in anime. Uncapped creativity and imagination, and also amazing delivery. When most people watch anime, they don't want to see or be in a world that reminds them of their everyday life. They also don't want to see simple, unrealistic tropes that can be solved by the power of friendship. Though there are some anime that thrive in that element, many are grounded with the understanding that life isn't that simple all the time. Where there's problems comes just as difficult solutions. But everything depends on what the viewer is looking to watch. Okay, now moving on to actually watching whatever anime that you decide to watch. One obstacle you might face are subtitles since of course you're essentially viewing Japanese television. This is called subbed anime by the way. For the most part you won't have any problems aside from the occasional typo in the subtitles. Where things can get a little more complicated is for the people who would like to watch anime exclusively in English. This is called dubbed anime. It is important to know though that not all anime is dubbed. And if you do find one that's dubbed, it's also important to know that some dubbed anime can be really good while others, not so good. It's the same show, however, the original voice actors are replaced with English voice actors. And if you're curious, here's a side-by-side -side example of subbed anime and dubbed anime. At the end of the day though, it all depends on your preference. For some it might be a turn off having to read rather than just needing to watch and listen. 
especially if you have diagnosable issues like dyslexia or you just simply do better at processing information by listening rather than reading. That being said, don't feel forced to watch subbed anime if it's not your preference. And don't feel bad for it either. Though I prefer subbed over dub, that doesn't mean all dubbed anime is bad. Though yes, some of the voice acting is questionable. If it doesn't pull you out of the immersion or ruin your personal experience, then stick with dubbed anime until you have an interest in watching subbed. But I will warn you, this is also where it gets crippling for most dubbed anime watchers. If you prefer dubbed anime over subbed anime, there's significantly less you are able to consume and experience. Not all great anime also come in English. And this is even meant to be a sub versus dub conversation in regards to quality. It's about the matter of availability. And I think that's actually where I'm going to end this video. I wanted to keep this video relatively short to not scare people away by how long it was. <laughs> so hopefully it works. And if you're looking for recommendations, I'll think about doing a follow-up video that lists a couple of different anime categorized by genre for the people that might have a hard time deciding what they want to watch. If you are looking for something like that, definitely let me know so I know how to prioritize my time making that video. But until then, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.